One day I was sitting in my office and I started noticing that I had this flickering light up there in the, the corner. It's just kind of like this pulse, kind of at a regular interval. And at the same time I heard this kind of sound from the radiator of circulating water, which also had this kind of repetitive pattern, kind of like a rhythmic pattern. And that made me start to think about the kind of the combined rhythms we have in an environment in a space like this what I call an audiovisual rhythm. Um, and such audiovisual rhythms, they are not only auditory and visual, but they also have a spatial temporal component. So, and I mean, it happens over there, at that point in time, and over there, at that point in time, something there. I hear people walking out in the corridor, I hear people uh, walking outside, or car cars passing by. And together, these kind of constitute a fairly complex set of audiovisual rhythms uh, of any type of environment. And you can think of this more as the kind of the background really to our lives. Now, as a music researcher, I've been interested in uh, studying the foreground of activities for a fairly long time. I've been looking at people playing music, dancing to music. Over the last decade, I've been working on trying to understand more about how music influences uh, what I call micromotion, really subtle movements in the body. And also the physiology, or kind of the respiration, heart rate, muscle tension, etc. Now, in the ambient project, the idea is to really try to combine these things and look at the background, you could say, of our everyday lives and try to figure out what's actually going on in this environment um, and also see how they influence uh, our bodies. And I'm also, as a music technologist, the most interested in seeing how can we work with an environment and perhaps enhance the environment uh, or even transform this environment and send it somewhere else so that you could, in, in the sense that if you are collaborating with someone else instead of just having kind of a video link with them, you could think of, is it possible to kind of somehow recreate the type of the ambience of one environment into another place? That is not by not directly copying what is going on in one place to another, but it's, it's something about kind of creating the sense of what's, what's going on from a more of an aesthetic perspective. So in the Ambient project, I'm, I'm going to put together a, a multidisciplinary team, trying to find uh, uh, some early career researchers that are interested in working on this from the perspective of arts and humanities, sound studies, uh, also from the perspective of more psychology uh, and cognitive science, and also uh, someone from more of a technological background. So together, the idea is to work and try to understand more about how these type of audiovisual rhythms work in environments and how we can kind of improve uh, the audiovisual rhythms in environments as we move forward. So if you're interested in joining me in this, uh, please uh, send an application before the 15th of March and uh, I'm really eager to get going with this exciting new project.